Can the girl be one to look a little bit darker? Okay, I don't be one to look pale. I do not be one to look like I'm a ghost. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. and Zivo. So welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's. If it, I didn't tell you guys before, is it New Year or is it with the S like plural New Year's? I'm having like a blonde moment right now. Tell me what you guys think. Is it New Year or New Year's? I like to put the S at the ends of everything my kids say. Like I like to call it Walmarts with the S or Targets with the S like, you know, because it's more than one of them. It's plural. There's a chain of them. So yeah. Anyway, happy New Year to you guys. I actually already work with this company. They're known as Supernova. You can look them up on YouTube. They got like a whole bunch of reviews. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that all the reviews was that great. I'm not going to tell you that all of them was that bad. I know that I have reviewed for them, I think like probably like two times, two or three times. You know, I can't remember. My, my mind is like gone, okay? On a scale of one to 10, I would say their hair is like a nine, nine and a half. I can't really say that anything is like a 10 unless it doesn't shed or anything. Like it's just like perfect, like, just perfect so I cannot give anything a 10 until like I find like that holy grail hair okay, like this hair is probably good for those who are just wanting to start out with some color but just really don't know how to do it like I'm just granted you ain't gonna find like a whole rainbow of skew of colors on the website so I picked out some virgin Brazilian body wave hair and then I got it in the color burgundy already colored for your girl y'all know me so well like I have to have dark roots for any type of hair color I do I don't care if that's that's I don't care if that ish is green, purple, blue, or pink. I have to have like some type of darkened colored roots or brownish colored roots just so that it could like, you know what I'm saying, look like it's growing out of my scalp because, you know, like my hair don't grow this color. But their bundles did not come like that. Like their frontal does not come like that and neither does their closure. So, you know something, I just took a gamble and I just left it as red or burgundy. I didn't even darken it. My preference is really dark roots. But I'm going to be honest and tell you guys, I got a little bit late. I didn't want to do all of that. Like, I really wanted to bleach the knots on this frontal because it's kind of like, um, knotty. Like, you can see the knots in it, okay? Like, you can see, like, the little knot grids, the little knots in it. So, I really did want to bleach the knots, but then I thought to myself, well, April, how are you going to bleach the knots if the hair is red? That's probably going to bleach to, like, this really off color. And I'm not really sure. I did cut off a patch when I was cutting the ear tab, so I'm going to test it on that to see. And I actually went ahead and cut the lace off camera already. And this time around, a girl sold combs right here, okay, because I made this one. So I sold combs right here. You guys know I don't even do that anymore. But let me tell y'all something. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work for everybody, but if they're going, damn sure works for me, your girl. Like, it works for me. Um, when I have like these two cornrows right there, all I gotta do is put the combs right up in that, sh that ish, okay? And it does not pull on my hair, so it works for me. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? You might have to put like two extras, but either way, it might just work out for you. But I know it worked out for me like this. Put elastic bands in it, and I put two combs in the back, like you know, like it was coming out the factory, okay? Yes, I wrote the word supernova on it because let me tell y'all, I will forget something. So I basically put the name. And these are like the markers that you can get in the fabric section. It'll never wash off. Like, I mean, maybe eventually it will, but you know. I did pre-pluck the hairline. So I didn't do anything but make the wig, wash it, style it, and pre-pluck it. So I guess I did enough, right? It was three bundles of Brazilian body wave hair in the color burgundy and a 13 by 6 frontal, which the bundles were 22, 22, and 20. And I think the frontal was either 16 or 14. I can't remember, but I'll definitely post it for you guys below. But I'm really trying to do this without having to, you know what I'm saying, like glue it down. Or not even glue it down, but like hairspray it down because I really don't feel like doing all that. That's the reason why I put the combs right there. And that's the reason why I put the elastic so damn tight to where my brains is probably going to suck out. We're going to get into this video real quick. So that way I could just let y'all go ahead about y'all day and enjoy y'all new year. Okay.
I really feel is this. I really do prefer to have dark roots, especially for somebody who never does color without any dark roots. Like, I think I like kind of like laid it down. So I just took my, you know, powder, translucent powder, which is in color beige or whatever you want to call it, my skin color. And I just put that on first. And then on top of it, I used my foundation, which, you know, basically will allow it to stick better. Because if you use just powder, that stuff is going to just disappear like ain't nobody's business. Like, you know, it'll be there and then the next minute you know it'll be gone. It's just powder. It's not really going to stick like that. So I just use the powder as like a foundation for the foundation. So that way it could at hold, adhere better to the lace. And it works for me. This is the part where it gets like time consuming. You have to take your time with a fine little makeup brush, hunties, and then dot, dot, dot. Like, of course, you're going to get some on the hair. That's to be expected. But you have to be real precise and just really, really go in and take your time. So I didn't glue down no baby hairs on it. And on top of that, the knots was like blatantly pissing me off. The knots was not that great. Overall experience, um, the hair texture is not as sleek smooth. And it's probably because it is colored. Doing these type of wand curls on like super, super sleek hair, 
it doesn't make the hair full. It, the curls come out a little bit different. But doing it on hair that has not as much sleekness and not as much luster, the curls look deeper and it makes it more fuller. I know like when I wear this type of color, it makes me look darker. And the girl be wanting to look a little bit darker, okay? I don't be wanting to look pale. I do not be wanting to look like I'm a ghost. And the hair quality is cool as well. Um, and on a scale of 1 to 10, because the knots were not that great, I'm going to go say I'm going to give it a, uh, a eight only because i had to do a little bit more work to the knot so i mean like it's no big deal as long as you got some good old makeup hunties and a brush then you're good and as you guys see i didn't even glue it down i didn't even hairspray it down i just used you know what i'm saying my elastic band the lifesaver like i really do like to use the elastic band it makes my life so much so, you guys, you can catch Supernova down below. I will post all the info for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys. Enjoy your new year. And I will see you guys in another soon to come video.